in a distant realm, far removed from Earth and approximately 7 billion miles away from the radiant Sun, a diminutive enigmatic world known as Pluto once held the prestigious title of the ninth planet in our solar system. However, in the present day, Pluto has officially been relegated to the status of a trans-Neptunian object. This transformation occurred after the scientific community decided to reclassify Pluto, and shortly thereafter, NASA's New Horizons probe embarked on an unprecedented journey to this previously obscure celestial body. The data collected during this mission proved to be astonishing, allowing NASA to release authentic images of Pluto for the first time. In this voyage, we will explore the mysteries of Pluto, one of the most unique celestial entities in our solar system. Picture yourself as a pioneer, disembarking from a spacecraft onto the surface of Pluto, a world perpetually shrouded in darkness. The sun, a mere speck in the sky, radiates feeble light onto this frigid and enigmatic realm. As you step onto the surface, you are immediately immersed in the eerie semi-darkness, surrounded by the peculiar landscape of fragile porous rocks. The silence here is absolute, as the low gravity, only 0.063 times that of Earth, makes movement laborious. You struggle to maintain your balance, but your specially designed boots, equipped with weights and spikes, provide the necessary stability. With great effort, you manage to bend down and collect a sample of the unusual terrain. Then, you clamber back into your space capsule, ready to land at another location on this dwarf planet to gather more samples. Years of rigorous training have prepared you for this mission, but Pluto's low gravity and icy surface still pose significant challenges. Despite these difficulties, the opportunity to stand on this distant, icy world, bathed in the feeble glow of the distant sun, is a moment of sublime wonder. However, due to the bone-chilling surface temperature of negative 351 degrees Fahrenheit, your stay on Pluto can only be brief. After capturing a few more images of the distant sun, you commence your journey back home. This experience provides a glimpse into what it might be like for the first humans to set foot on Pluto, a world located in the outer reaches of our solar system, where daylight is scarce. It's somewhat ironic that shortly after being reclassified as a dwarf planet, Pluto unveiled its remarkable and unique characteristics. Pluto's remote location and challenging observation conditions had long obscured its true nature. Even images captured by the Hubble Space Telescope depicted Pluto as a vague brownish disk devoid of surface details. Recognizing the limitations of remote observations, NASA dispatched the New Horizons probe to Pluto in 2015 immediately after its reclassification. This unmanned mission marked a significant milestone, as it took nine years and eight months for New Horizons to reach its distant target. Upon arrival, New Horizons wasted no time, swiftly amassing six gigabytes of data during its mission. Transmitting this substantial dataset back to Earth required more than a year. To this day, scientists continue to analyze this trove of information. Thanks to New Horizons, humanity was granted its first detailed view of Pluto's surface, revealing a world filled with vibrant colors and unexpected geological activity. Images of Pluto's surface unveiled a complex and varied landscape, providing invaluable insights into the planet's structure. According to current models, Pluto consists of a solid core approximately 1,056 miles thick, composed of a mix of various substances and elements. The upper layers are made up of water ice and rock, with the icy crust potentially reaching a thickness of up to 186 miles. There is even speculation that Pluto might harbor a subsurface ocean, possibly saturated with ammonia, hidden beneath this icy layer. Unlike Earth, where geological processes primarily rely on water, Pluto's unique geology is driven by crystallized gases such as nitrogen, methane, and carbon monoxide. Before we dive into the next amazing revelation, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated with all our exciting discoveries here on Revel Discovery. Our exploration of Pluto's surface begins with its most prominent and well-studied feature, the Tomba Regio. This expansive region, unofficially referred to as the Pluto Heart, occupies roughly a quarter of the entire surface area of the dwarf planet. The heart is characterized by a bright, left side, and a darker counterpart. The left section, known as Sputnik Planum, or Sputnik Polynesia, spans a diameter of 927 miles. 
Topographic maps reveal it to be a vast lowland area covered in nitrogen ice, carbon monoxide, and solid methane. These substances exhibit a bright coloration, reflecting up to 90% of incoming light, and the absence of craters indicates geological youth. Scientists estimate that Sputnik Plenum formed around 100 million years ago when Pluto collided with a celestial body, leaving behind a colossal crater that was subsequently filled with material from the planet's interior. The surrounding region of Tomba Regio is bordered by relatively high mountain ranges, such as the Hillary Montes to the west. While these mountains may not be the tallest in the solar system, reaching heights of approximately 1.86 miles, they are substantial features on Pluto. Furthermore, these rocky formations are primarily composed of water ice, which remains solid due to Pluto's extreme cold. Further exploration reveals evidence of cryovolcanism on Pluto. Deep depressions are surrounded by massive, stratified ice ridges and rocks. These structures bear witness to past eruptions, and recent color images have provided valuable insights into the chemical composition of these eruptions, shedding light on Pluto's internal structure. Continuing eastward along the equator, we encounter a series of dark spots known as maculas. These regions are intersected by extensive mountain ranges, some stretching for several hundred miles. The origin of the maculas remains a mystery with scientists currently conducting research to unravel their formation. It is suspected that their dark coloration results from a combination of impact craters and tholins, complex organic compounds formed by the interaction of high-energy radiation with simple molecules in the atmosphere of celestial bodies. As we venture northward, we arrive at Lowell Regio, a sprawling valley encircling Pluto's North Pole. This region stands out as the brightest on the planet due to Pluto's axial tilt, which results in the North Pole being continuously illuminated by the Sun. This unique orientation likely contributes to the observed increase in Pluto's atmospheric density over the past three decades, even as the planet moves farther from the Sun. It is hypothesized that the Sun's rays cause nitrogen ice to evaporate, which then settles at the pole and enters Pluto's atmosphere. Pluto's peculiar movements can be attributed to its moon, Charon, which orbits the dwarf planet at an average distance of about 12,172 miles. This moon, with a diameter of approximately 753 miles, is notably large relative to Pluto's own diameter of roughly 1,476 miles. In their synchronized cosmic dance, Pluto and Charon resemble more of a binary system than a traditional planet and moon pair. The intricate dynamics of this celestial pair were first documented by New Horizons and continue to be a subject of intense study. Charon, despite its dark surface, exhibits geological activity, and scientists have detected water ice mixed with methane and nitrogen on its surface. This peculiar moon, with its complex characteristics, adds to the enigma of Pluto and its surroundings. The mysteries of Pluto and the Kuiper Belt continue to captivate scientists and astronomers. As we expand our understanding of this distant region of our solar system, we are left with questions and the anticipation of further discoveries. The Kuiper Belt, with its vast expanse and countless celestial objects, promises to be a realm of continued exploration and revelation. Only a fraction of this region has been explored, and the potential for astonishing findings in the years to come remains high. Pluto, once considered the ninth planet, now stands as a testament to the ever-evolving nature of scientific knowledge. Its transformation from a planet to a dwarf planet has only deepened the intrigue surrounding this distant world. As we continue to uncover its secrets and explore the Kuiper Belt, we may yet encounter beautiful, incredible, and astonishing discoveries that challenge our understanding of the cosmos and our place within it. What do you think the future holds for Pluto and the Kuiper Belt? Share your insights and opinions. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our exciting updates about lunar discoveries and the future of space exploration. Remember, as we venture into the universe, the sky is not the limit, it's just the beginning. Keep looking up.